Hi everybody, this is Katerina and today I'm bringing you brand new newest eyeshadow palette from Bobbi Brown and it's named Smoky Nude and I create a beautiful perfect look for you yes and i will say it is smoky and it is nude and i will show you step by step how to use this eyeshadow palette we have here with you three matte color and it's a first one and last two and we have here two shimmer colors can look at this eyeshadow palette of course it's already on my eyes and it's so pretty it's so easy to use and let's start let me show you how to use this gorgeous eyeshadow palette and let's start before makeup let me take care of my skin because I'm allergic to so many different things. I'm gonna use dermatologist tested, fragrance free, hyperallergenic, dye free, for sensitive skin with hyaluronic moisturizer, any cream, and this moisturizer, moisturizer you can use for face and eyes, okay? I'm gonna first apply this products, and then because it's summer, it's here, I need sunscreen and today I know this so good product and it's super good glow sunscreen it's 40 SP I have a little bit little bit fragrance but it's no synthetic fragrance it's vegan it's not irritated no irritated sunscreen I'll try see how my skin handle but I know it's a good primer we have again 40 SPF and will give me nice beautiful glow and you can see it's a little bit color it's even my skin and it is beautiful beautiful glow and for my foundation I'm gonna use today brand Yansa Super Serum Silk Foundation with vitamin C and E and this is also it's a treatment foundation it's prevent from lines and wrinkles I'm not sure if I believe this story but it is good medium to full coverage foundation and give you a nice beautiful glow Look at this foundation. It looks very glowing. It looks very natural. Give me a good, good coverage. And if you combinational uh, to dry, it's a great, or even you dry, it's a good, good foundation. For my eye area, I'm gonna use brand, brand new North Eye Brightener Color Night Swan. And it's a light perfecting, brightening, illuminating, basically corrector under your eyes i try already this product and all i can say it's pretty pretty sheer and really really glowing to me personally like um if you want just eye brightener it's a good one but will not gonna give you a full full coverage and because it's so creamy and rich i feel this product can crease later on and now i am gonna use concealer show and i like from north and this is its color vanilla and it's a soft matte concealer it is beautiful creamy this good good coverage and i'm just gonna put on top For my bronze, I'm gonna use Lancome Foundation Stick. I actually really like it. It's so nice, beautiful texture. Okay, I'm applying a little bit right here, little bit right here, and underneath, and now I'm just gonna blend, blend with brush. Now I have Charlotte Tilbury brush, and what I'm doing, I'm just blending, blending this bronze Oh, this is actual foundation to my skin see I'm just making softer softer and I push in this product close to my hairline I 
I feel I have a little bit too much bronze. I have my Trish McAvoy Beauty Blender. I'm just gonna go all over right here and a little bit soft this. Now I'm gonna use a liquid blush, it's like a gel liquid blush from North Color uh, Brazen. And I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. And this one, it's pretty, pretty liquidy formula. And again, it feels like a gel. I'm not sure if I like to use this blush, liquid blush with beauty blender. Let me apply a little bit more and I'm going to use the same brush, which one we just used for bronze. Oh yeah, definitely better. You see, you never know. Most liquid highlighters and most liquid blushes, I always like to use Beauty Blender, but because this one is very liquidy, and I just like it better with brush. I have my Lancome Translucent Powder. It's a very, very good powder, and I'm gonna put a little bit in my cup. I'm using my Trish McAvoy Beauty Blender. I put a little bit, little bit powder on a beauty blender. And now I'm just gonna press, 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 press. I come in close to it. I want you to see it not looks dry under my eyes. It looks really, really good. Again, I can see it's creasing right here, this concealer. I little bit dabbing. I basically absorbing extra product. And now I'm going to use again my Beauty Blender with little bit powder. Very little. Concealers, it's done. And let me set right now my foundation. I'm going to use Healthy Glow powder from uh, Chanel number no. 10. It's not a heavy, it's very sheer color, uh, sheer formula, but when my skin, it will say like so much glowing, I can feel it's a little bit like, to me, even too much moisture for my skin, even I feel dry, but after applying all these products, I feel like it's too much hydration and I don't want to go with heavy powder i go with very soft setting powder from chanel my skin looks good i feeling good i look younger now i'm gonna feel a little bit my eyebrows and then of course we're gonna use this beautiful eyeshadow palette Eyebrows, it's done. Yes, it looks a little bit dark, this palette, but don't worry about it. It's not going to be crazy dark. It's going to look very soft and natural. Okay, let's put eyeshadow primer. Of course, it will be matte, painterly on the entire of my eyelid. And I actually use Bobbi Brown eyeshadow. No, sorry, foundation brush. Uh, it's just so easy to apply this way. Again, on the entire of my eyelid, it looks really, really soft, natural matte color. I'm almost 45 and I want to see surgeon, plastic surgeon. I'm going to apply a Shantikai, I, oh sorry, Shantikai pencil and it's colored nude under my brow. It's a matte color. It's going to give me extra lift. I have a big blending brush and we're going to use this first color. It's a matte color. First, my color, I put right here in the corner, I go up, 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 I apply in the above my circle area, and then I go in the corner right here, and basically I connect everything. It's like one little circle, half circle. And you can see it looks so natural, very soft. Same color, I'm using very, very softly underneath. I decide to come close to a camera. I want you to see, again, it's just one color underneath, 
right here in the corner and we blend up up to this corner from corner to corner now let's use the darkest color in this palette again guys when i teaching you how to put eyeshadow i try to be very easy not complicated but it still will look so beautiful and soft okay this is darker color we are applying right here in the corner and you can see i push in this kind of color up and if you can see like I just put this brush straight this is how you apply right here from corner and now I'm gonna just same color little bit little bit blend and when I blend it like a foxy way like a angle way a little bit more this darker color I am trying to apply close to my lashes and again you can see how I apply just angle way and I push it up blending 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 it's most important part of eyeshadow application <laughs> a little bit above my circle area same say darker color i'm gonna apply a little bit close underneath halfway not all of it just halfway and i push it up now i have a big blending brush i'm just gonna blend again then i made mistake i put my eyeshadow a little bit too low i have my beautiful puff and i'm gonna use lancome transparency powder and i'm just gonna clean underneath And I'm going to leave this powder right there. It's okay because we're still going to work with eyeshadow. We have uh, two colors with you and they look very, very soft. But I still, even I am makeup artist, I'm using a big, big brush, blending brush to soft little bit color. i be honest with you, I feel it's not blend this eyeshadow like how i would like it's not it's easy i have already two videos for another two palettes and i absolutely in love and this one palette it's make me a little bit work but I personally should know I probably should done something different when I apply eyeshadow primer from MAC I should just put transparency powder and seal my eyeshadow primer and then will eyeshadow will go way more easy will not look splotchy because again i blend a lot because i feel ah oh, here it's not a little bit not good and there not look good okay guys put little bit transparency powder like or any powder first lock your eyeshadow primer and then apply eyeshadow and then i guarantee will eyeshadow look amazing and will go way more small <laughs> okay now i'm gonna use sigma brush i love this brush it's like 18 dollars i believe on nordstrom.com and i really really like now we're gonna use this darker color and we're gonna use this beautiful like shimmer toppy eyeshadow and now this color i'm just gonna apply right here kind of on center of my eyelid and i go all the way to a corner just right here wow it looks so pretty this is actually beautiful i feel like evening smoky look very very pretty
And again, you can look at eyeshadow won't look too dark. They are smoky, but they're like a natural way. It's not harsh. It's not like Diana Ross look. <laughs> and now I'm gonna use small tiny brush. This is it's a older brush from Norse, but I believe it's number 28 or 26. It's new one. And we're gonna use this beautiful soft shimmer color. I'm gonna apply right here in the corner of my eye and right here now same brush same lighter color i'm gonna actually apply a little bit little bit right here in the center and you can see i apply it in the center of my eyelid and i go little bit little bit up to open my lid to uh, pop my eye so be very pretty look how pretty now I'm going to use the smaller eyeshadow brush, which one I have, it, and I'm going to use this darker, darker eyeshadow, and I'm going to one more time apply this darker color close to my lash line, and I don't go all the way, kind of starting and from center on my eyelid, and I'm just pushing this eyeshadow like close to my lashes and making like little bit like eyeliner my eyes it's almost done now i'm gonna curl my lashes then we're gonna use liquid eyeliner little bit more pencil between my lashes and some nude this nude eyeliner from chantica it will look so pretty on low my borderline Now I'm gonna use brown eyeliner. It's a gel liner from Trish McAvoy. It's one of my favorite to use on the knees. And I'm just like pushing, pushing this pencil very close to my lashes. Now, after I apply an eyeliner, I'm using Q-tip and I am basically cleaning a little bit my waterline eyeliner stay next to my lashes but not waterline because what's happening when you and you will see it's little bit makes a mark underneath i don't want to daisy brown underneath um, eyeliner on the bottom i want nude one and i need to clean up again i'm gonna use nude eyeliner from Shantika. it's very soft beautiful formula just like this and on top I'm gonna use Stila liquid eyeliner it's like a teal navy it's a beautiful color and this is it's a waterproof eyeliner and because yes I'm almost 45 I don't need this huge <laughs> um, like winky line I'm just gonna press press close to my lashes and that's it Now, let's finish my eyes with Christian Dior Primer. It's have a vitamins, helping to keep my lashes healthy. And then I'm going to use mascara from Bobbi Brown. This is actually a sample, I believe, and it's a smoky eye mascara I'm going to use on top and in the bottom. my eyes look so beautiful yes i work a little bit work to make this beauty happen but will i buy this palette yes it's my mistake i don't put first loose powder to set my primer but now let's finish this look i'm gonna use laura mercier devotion it's a beautiful like pinky undertone highlighter i'm gonna apply right here then i am gonna use a milani blush coral cove 05 i'm obsessed with these blushes they're like 10 or 11 dollars in Ulta but they're so beautiful and I just love color and texture it's like wow such amazing product
it feels so good to feel beautiful and it's helping me make up to look beautiful and make me happy for my lips i'm gonna use Too face a lip liner kit named bad us and then coquette a lipstick from um Lancome, it's a beautiful, beautiful lipstick. It's like a peachy, pinky color, and it has slightly like iridescent of pearls in this lipstick. It's so pretty. Lipstick, it's done. It is so pretty. Again, I like this little bit, like I would say, metallic, a little bit more metallic hint. But you know what? Let's put a little bit lip gloss on top. And let's finish this look with NYX lip gloss, lip plumper, uh, filler, and stick. And again, it's from brand NYX and it's color, color, splat sparkling please it is sparkly it this will give you a pretty like tingling tingling for a few minutes but then it will be okay <laughs> but will make your lips really really full Mm, this lip gloss not sticky at all it is have tingling and it's so sexy it's perfect for summer it's like a summer like goldy color and i love this lip combo it's so pretty i hope you like this video please subscribe my youtube channel love you more than ice cream and girls please let me know what eyeshadow palette you want me to use on my next video because I need your help. Thank you so much.